It's been a big week this week as we focus on development updates as we kick off 2024. This week we saw the first development live stream as well as we're going to cover all the included features with the next sim update as well as a confirmed release date. We also talk about the World Hub and all of this week's big previews, announcements and release news. It's been a big week so let's jump straight into the video. Kicking off this week's previews and announcements, PMDG is back in the flight sim news again, this time with the first in cockpit shots of its in development 777. PMDG mentioned that the project is advancing rapidly and their recent version of the beta has been focusing on resolving conflict between the code that PMDG uses and the compiler that Microsoft Flight Simulator uses. The team mentions that this debugging process is crucial for ensuring a stable and reliable end user experience. This time the team showcases the high level of in the 777 copy and from the looks of it the 777 may live up to the hype as this project is now getting. PMDG mentioned with this weekly update that this project will probably be the finest desktop simulation outside or even inside the enterprise environment. This is a pretty big statement for them so the hype is growing. There is no release date for the PMDG 777 just yet of course but the team has mentioned they are in preparation for more preview images to come out and also videos, which means it is a great sign that the project is well on its way to nearing completion. Synapit simulations, which have been in development for a while now with a Airbus A220. Originally, this project was planned to be released as a freeware and an open source project, but the team have now changed their mind as they are now partnered with Inibills to to bring the Airbus to a simulator as a payware release. The reason for the change is that the team have realized the potential of the project and that the ever-growing development demands without compromising the timeframes as it was going to be a freeware open source project, this is something that they had to think about and to make the change. Any builds have experience with many of the Airbus fleets such as the A300, the A310, the A320neo, the A350 and the A380. So this makes sense to partner with them. The project is now planned to release on PC as well as Xbox later on down the line. There's no actual development update here or plan a release date. However, this news is all about the partnership. And of course, we will keep you up to date with any new information about the project in the future. Bluebird Simulations gave us a detailed update of its Boeing 757 development last week. This week, the team showcased a more detail of its external screenshots than what we have seen so far in the project. These external screenshots showcase the cargo variant of the 757 non-winglet version as they had many questions about that after the team update video last week. We are expecting to see many more updates from the team over the year as they work hard to develop and finalize the Boeing 757 for release and we hope to have a release before the end of the year. Cow Simulations this week have announced its in development DA Diamond 42 release date. The team plans to release the DA 42 on February the 10th and plans to distribute the release of the Diamond through the Orbex store. The release will come with two variants of the Diamond featuring the 5 variant and also the TDI version of the aircraft. The team has also confirmed that the DA42 will be available on Xbox later down the line, but there is no confirmed release date just yet. And the team will also release a DA40 before the end of the year is out. If it we are passionate about bringing all the big headlines of Flight Sim News each and every week. So if you're enjoying this video, bosh that like button and consider subscribing to be notified more about our weekly update videos. We are on the road to 100,000 subscribers and we would love to have you on board before we reach that milestone thank you very much for your support flight sim studios this week have announced they are in development with a analog version of the technum p2006 the flight sim studios released the original version of the pt006 um, almost a year ago Flight Sim Studios released their original version of the PT-2006 almost a year ago and, and now the team have gone back to create an analog version which will feature steam gauges and also a yoke. This Technam is currently in beta so we should see a release sometime soon and from the looks of it this analog version of the Technam will be sold as a whole new package and it won't be an upgrade from the MK2 glass cockpit version. However a discount will be provided if you have purchased the M2, MK2 version I should say previously. Moving over to this week's release news, Orbex just released a new Australian air 
airport, which was Gladstone. And now the team has released another iconic Australian airport. This time it is the Gold Coast. The Gold Coast airport is located south of the Gold Coast at Coolangatta. The airport is an international airport and it serves many airlines such as Air Asia, Air New Zealand, Bonza, Jetstar, Qantas and Virgin Australia. The release includes the current 2023 state of the airport, also 4K textures, animated jetways, interior of the main terminal, unique GSE vehicles. The airport has been optimized for performance, also includes dynamic airport lighting, custom taxi signs and detailed ground markings. You can pick up your copy of Orbex's Gold Coast Airport directly from their store. Links in the description below. SoFly offer a number of products for Microsoft Flight Simulator, catering to new pilots for the sim and all the way to very experienced pilots. As a flight sim content creator, my favorite SoFly product is Weather Presets Pro, which comes in really handy when the weather is not behaving itself and you can change the weather to be more dramatic or even to a perfect day. Other products I like to use is Landing Challenge Pro, Flight Simulator Guide, which is the manual to Microsoft Flight Simulator, the one that should have been, Storms for pilots who want to chase some of the biggest storms in the world's history, and a couple of their recent products, which is Aircraft Checklist and their new animal release for Microsoft Flight Simulator, which puts over 5,000 animals into the sim. I will leave a link in the description below or where you can go and check out SoFly products, and I would like to thank SoFly for sponsoring this video. Dream of Flight Sim Studios who are known for developing many South American airports are now have another release which is Onaka International Airport. The airport is located in southern Mexico and serves over 1.5 million passengers a year. This airport serves both passenger for international and domestic travel and also the Mexican army uses its facilities as well. Being a high altitude airport which offers challenging approaches, Oaxaca offers a long runway of 8,000 feet. Features in Included with the release is highly detailed textures, hand painted ground textures with PBR and custom details, custom tarmac objects and vehicles as it is in the real life airport, custom taxiway signs, terminal interiors, realistic night lighting and highly optimized for performance. You can pick up your copy of Dream Flight Studios Onaka Airport directly from the Sim Market Store or the Contrail Store, I'll leave links in the description below. With the world update released this week, the Microsoft team also released their latest local legend aircraft. This time the team have released a helicopter being the Bell R47J Ranger. The Ranger is an executive version of the Bell 47 helicopter, which is a single pilot helicopter with a pilot seat situated at the front and then also the seats for the passengers that fit three passengers towards the back. This local legend was developed by Any Builds and features both a float and that skid version of the Ranger. The Ranger is a older helicopter, but it's been upgraded with this release with a transponder and also a navigation box, which has a basic navigation functions. You can pick up your copy of the Bell R47J Ranger directly from the InSim Marketplace store. There's no links for this one. You can find it directly in the sim. Moving over to this week's sim update news. This week we've seen a lot of news regarding focusing on the sims development. Kicking off we saw the first world update for the year which is the 16th installment of the series which is the Caribbean, also the Caribbean depending on which part of the world you're from. This world update region includes a number of different countries and new points of interest, uh, bush and landing challenges as well. Some of the islands included in the region is the Bahamas, Barbados, British Virgin Islands, the Cayman Islands, Granada, just to mention a few there is many more than that also includes seven new handcrafted airports were obviously developed by Gaia simulations as most of them are with the world updates world update 16 is now available for free in the Insima marketplace store along with the local legend Bell 47 at Ranger which we mentioned early in the video which was released alongside the Bell 47 is not free but the Microsoft team have offered a discount to simmers if you have the premium or the premium deluxe version of the sim this week, the Microsoft team held their first development live stream of the year. This week, the team discussed a basic development roadmap, which didn't offer much extra information than what we already know already about the upcoming releases for the year. However, the team did mention that the new Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 sim at release will be later on in the year and not at the start, as this will provide much more development time as possible to the project. The main update on this development live stream was focusing on the next sim update, which is at 
number 15, which will include a scheduled release on March the 12th, and the flighting for that will begin sometime soon. The Dune movie part two will release on the 14th in cinemas, so we may see uh, the Dune DLC release on the same week. If that would be, that would be a pretty big week in the world of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Highlights that were featured and we are expecting to see with this a new sim update in March is ongoing aircraft traffic updates, including a new model matching structure to match us more closely to the multiplayer purchases that people have in their own libraries. Any builds A320 Neo may make the update. However, it's not confirmed just yet, but we may see in the second flying, but not the first one. The team is working on performance and nearly there, but not there just 100% yet. Also, there'll be improvements to ice when it comes to also there'll be improvements when it comes to ice and water glass cop improvements atc improvements this one is ongoing obviously with every sim update updates to the g3x touch from the working title team which is great to see that getting some love also bush trip achievements will be now fixed if you're having issues with the achievements um, actually working that's going to be fixed and also a new memory allocation strategy which should improve uh, the sim for all users and even low pc spec users will see the most improvement it's really really great to see that this sort of stuff for the microsoft flight simulator 24 development is now making its way back into the 2020 version also we will see fixes to the 40th anniversary aircraft as we do with every uh, sim update also tandem rotor support will now be included and the team has showcased some visual effects of how that actually works with the live stream also the yeoman control support will be added and with all updates we'll see some fixes to known crashes to desktops in the sim providing things all go well with the flighting we will see the first sim update of the year release on march the 12th the World Hub also received a mention in the development live stream. The team mentioned that 70% of users who received an invite to the Alpha have logged in and the team have already started receiving submissions on local airports to be adjusted in the sim. And with that being said, they are about to send the next round of invites out to expand the Alpha testing. The team is planning to eventually send airport updates from the World Hub into the sim on a monthly update basis once the process is all up and running. But I think we're a little whiles away from that just yet. We did hear some details about the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 development, but most of the information that we did receive were indirectly questions that were answered from the Q&A. So they sort of danced around about these, but it was really interesting to see. We'll feature some of this in an upcoming Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 update video coming soon on the channel. So, so consider subscribing if you want to be notified about more of our Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 development content coming soon. This week in the InSim Marketplace backlog list, we've seen an increase of 28 products week on week for a total of 223 new products on the backlog list. Aircraft's up by two with 17 aircraft in their final testing phase. Missions are up by 16, sceneries are up by two, liveries are up by two, airports are up by five, and others are up by one. Speaking of the InSim Marketplace, uh, this week we have seen two new aircraft again from our weekly contenders of Ember Sceneries and Captain Sim. Also, there's been a Sim Skunk Works release which is the FRF uh, 104G which is available on Xbox. This was already previously released in the InSim marketplace on PC but now it is available for console. So not much releases of a late when it comes to aircraft. That being said a lot of these have followed through from just having a break from Christmas so it will take a couple more weeks I think before we'll see some new releases coming through the marketplace. Other releases include this week is four livery packs, two landmark packs, one excursion pack one challenge pack one commercial pack and one other pack which is the lighting enhancement which released from SoFly last week and of course there is a 10 new airports on the InSim marketplace release this week if you got this far in the video please bosh that like button and consider subscribing for more weekly flight sim update content from us each and every week we look forward to seeing you on another video sometime very soon thank you very much for your support